City 101 Morning Show. Joe Jewett, Dr. Smith, Christy Kay, and still in the studio with us, Graham Ray Hall. Good morning again, Graham. Good morning, thanks. Do people underestimate how do, do people underestimate how difficult it is to to drive an Indy car to go out there and race? Do people not, not have a conception of how difficult that is? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's always funny to me because I read like these uh, these guys, these uh, like journalists, write you know how easy it is to race an Indy car on an oval. Well, you know, they get five thousand down pounds of downforce, whatever it is, and. I mean, it should be easy, right? 100% full throttle racing all the time. And I'm sitting there thinking, you guys don't even know because you've never driven one of these things. It's easy to sit on the sidelines and say it, but it's hard. Not only, uh, I mean, the ovals are very hard. Road courses like Mid-Ohio, we're talking about that. Mid-Ohio especially, very physical because it's very hot. And uh, unlike most of the other racing sports, there's no power steering. There's no driver assist whatsoever. So it's, uh, it's pretty physical. I mean, it wears you out. What's your where's your favorite place to race? Like what city? Like where do where do you like to go? Where do you look forward to on the racing schedule? Well, I mean Indy five hundred obviously being our main race. That's kind of that's the yeah. I mean you get four hundred some thousand people there in a day, uh, largest single day sporting event in the world. That's that's pretty pretty cool. Um, Mid Ohio I love because it's a home race for me and kind of my first races that I went to as a little kid with my dad were always in Mid Ohio, so that's a cool one. And then I have to say St. Pete because I oh, won my first. Won. I won my first race there, <laughs> and I got my first pole there this year. So nice! It's been good to me. Congratulations again on that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you stole my question, Joe. So. Oh, did I? Well, then I'll take it right back. <laughs> you, you raced for uh, uh, Newman Haas Lane again. That's you, right? Yeah, yeah. Did so. you, uh, how did how did you get started with them? Well, um, when I raced, I, coming up to the junior formulas, I raced in Formula Atlantic, which was. Um, kind of a feeder series for the at the time champ car well uh basically my boss was mike lanigan in in atlantic well he moved over to newman haas lanigan um and w- one of the owners is the late paul newman um and so kind of coming up through that year i kept seeing like paul more and more and and mike and and all these guys and they started talking about well we want you to come test the champ car and how old were you at that point 17 which okay you know, you don't like that was always that was the best team in the series. I mean, it always was. I mean, they had won eight championships. They had won the past four championships in a row. They won basically every single race. Well, we, so I signed with them, and it's strange to think it's been three years now that I've been done. I mean, I won't only twenty now. I signed with them when I was seventeen. So I've been there ever since. I, you know, and I I absolutely love the team, and I drive in the McDonald's car now, which has always kind of been there a car so to speak right um so it's i mean it's awesome being there and, and they still are one of the best teams we've struggled a little bit you know because the unification of open world racing last year what we knew best is now gone <laughs> so now we're kind of learning something new with the indy car i mean same basic concept but the oval racing the way you you know set up and design and build these cars is a little bit different so it takes quite a bit of effort but we're getting closer i mean we've had a couple polls this year we've been in the hunt Pretty much all season long, we just haven't gotten a win yet. Did you get to know Paul Newman fairly well? I did, yeah, and uh, extremely well. And it's uh, it was obviously, I mean, I got the news of him passing within minutes of it happening. And actually, I was at a Blue Jackets game, and uh, and obviously, I left the game and, and went home. And uh, but I knew him extremely well. My dad drove for him in the early '80s in Can Am, and my mom um, and myself actually are big supporters of. Uh, of the hole in the wall camps, and we've got flying horse farms, which are which are Paul's camps for uh, for ill children, and got a, flying horse farms being built right out here, those just the, outside those are the of charities Columbus. that benefit from the Newman's own yeah. stuff, right? Okay. So just the whole family's been very involved with everything that Paul's done, and um, so yeah, I mean, got to know him quite well. Well, we know you got to get going. We appreciate you coming in today, Graham. Thanks a- very much. Absolutely, thanks, thanks man. for having Thank me. You. That's Graham Rahal. A reminder to you: the uh, the big event is the Honda Indy Two Hundred. Happens the weekend of August seventh, eighth, and 9th out at Mid Ohio. You can get tickets and info at midohio.com and one 800 Mid Ohio. When you come back to town, you got to come back in. Sounds good. Anytime. All right. 836 City 101.